Hey guys, this is Flyboy, and uh, I'm going to be reviewing the EUC Bodyguard purchased from Roll.nz. A couple things I wanted to go over. First thing I wanted to mention was that the stitching is excellent. So here is the stitching on the outside. You can see it's covered with this fabric. Um, on the inside, this is what it looks like without the fabric. Once it focuses, there we go. So you can see it's just the two halves butted up next to each other. And there's the fabric that just covers it. So I think that's a nice, nice feature because then you don't see this, this separation. It's all kind of covered and contained, you don't see the crisscrosses, everything's a nice straight line. The velcro, I have no complaints, and the stitching on the velcro is pretty good as well. Um, it's not going to come off anytime soon. The hole cutouts are pretty good, they are in the right place. My only complaint is that because of the mudguard, it adds extra tension because of the mudguard sticking out. I feel like this would be a good place for this cover to stop right above here, or right above the mud flap. But if you notice, if you do that, then none of this is aligned. In fact, it's a couple inches away from alignment. And instead, let's see if I can do this with one hand. This thing has to go over the mud flap. Oh, quite a bit. This is the hardest part about putting this thing on, is just getting this back end aligned. See, now it's over the mud flap. Um, and that mud flap causes quite a stretch. I've noticed that it pulls this a lot forward. So you can see right here, these holes aren't over the, the glossy plastic, they're over the mat on a couple of them. Um, so you can see how far forward that pushes. Um, and when this is turned on, that's the wrong side. Disconnect. Hooray! You can see, I can see the lights right here, but as I go down, they fade, they fade away, especially from the side. These ones are good because they're more or less aligned, but as soon as I go down, you can really see how far away this has been pulled from the side because of this mud flap. I think a, uh, a better place, better position for this would be right there. So. On the side without the mud flap, it extends beyond and kind of has excess material there, which, you know, is good for protection, but I feel like it's a little too much. Um, I guess a, another minor thing is that the cutouts only allow you to see the unicycle from the side. You can't see any lights other than the headlight and the brake light from the front. This was something that the people who made this uh, talked about and discussed and they they decided to go with protection rather than light visibility which I in in complete agreement with uh, I feel like they made the right choice because uh, you can still see the lights from the side you can still tell what your battery's at and you're gonna have the most protection possible because of the little tiny holes as opposed to let's say a big open strip I do appreciate how this is completely focused on protection of the EUC, which is what I wanted it for. It's really easy to install, and you've seen the video on his website probably. It's pretty easy. Sometimes it's easy for it to get caught on either the pedal or sometimes you don't put the hook on all the way, but more or less, I mean, once it's on, it's, it's on. You can install this thing in less than a minute. Because of that mud flap, it takes probably half the amount of time that it takes to install the cover 
I'm trying to line up all the holes over that mud flap. That's really the only difficult part because it's already a tight fit and then you've got this mud flap that's sticking out which you have to pull the material taut at that point um, which also helps keep it in place but I feel like that's excessively taut. I love taking the cover off the wheel because I feel like I'm getting a brand new wheel every time I do. Because one, I'm not used to seeing the bare unicycle, so it's always a shock when I see it. On the bottom of the cover, there are four little pockets or hooks to hook onto the bottom shell of the unicycle. These are made out of what looks like a leather or a synthetic leather. It doesn't look like real leather but it, it's pretty tough and that leather faces in so it's touching the plastic of the unicycle. Kind of wish that it was leather all the way around on both sides because I noticed that when I pull it off sometimes the pedals catch the fabric on the other side of the leather and it's starting to wear that down I've noticed. One thing that I do like about the cover is that it's another layer of padding around the entire EUC. So I don't have to worry about my legs getting overly sore or my ankles hurting because there's an extra, I don't know if it's three or five millimeters, but it's pretty thick and it's spongy as well. It's got the padding, it's super nice. I feel like that extra padding helps a lot with gripping the wheel, though I have not ridden my unicycle very far without the protective cover. I've gone about 250 miles on it pretty much all the time with the cover. I did one run to the store and back without it, so I do like how it's, it's a little easier, it's easier to grip the wheel. It doesn't slide around at all, which is a big benefit, because if I'm gripping the, the cover and the cover is like sliding around on the unicycle, that's it's going to be bad. It stays in place, which is a, an excellent feature. So this is the bodyguard flipped inside out. You can see right where the pad of the ankle pad is. It's completely smashed. It's gone flat. As far as protection goes, luckily I've never used this, I've never tested its function of preventing scratches or gouges in the plastic material, although I did run the wheel into a curb uh, without me on it, it got away from me and headed towards the curb. The wheel was the first thing to hit the curb, like the, the tire, which bounced the wheel up into the air, but then on the way down that's when it did fall over onto the curb and the ground but when I took the, the the cover off there were no marks on the unicycle so it's not a bad crash per se but I think that it would have definitely left a nice little mark on the unicycle if it was not protected so I think protection is, is pretty good and uh, you guys have seen the, the video that was posted about the uh, the guy off-roading and then he falls off and his wheel just twirls through rocks and it was reported that the wheel was not harmed so that's good I plan on riding it with it on until it falls apart which we'll see how long that will last being in Southern California there's a lot of dust and uh, the cover does get dusty and it collects dust very well because of the uh, the fabric material it's going to collect dust especially in the back so every maybe about once a week or twice a week i take the cover off and just wipe everything down i i whack it as if i was you know dusting an, uh, uh, an old rug and on the unicycle it always leaves these like dust marks where all the holes were and I just wiped that off. I haven't seen any scratches or anything on the unicycle so that's that's been good. Ordering the cover was fairly simple and it came in seven days. It actually arrived the same day that my unicycle did so I was happy about that. The unicycle took a month and a half and the cover took seven days. And that was seven total days, not seven business days. From ordered to at my apartment, it was seven days, which I was very happy about. And that was the standard shipping method. 
that's all the main points that I have for right now. If you guys can think of anything else or want to see something in particular, overall it's a great product. I think that the, the edges where the blue or the red or green or whatever color you have, where that ends going down the wheel, I think that should be cut back about an inch or three quarters of an inch just to, to make room for that mud guard. I don't know if I will ever modify mine just because I don't want to mess it up, but that's, that's one concern that I have. This has been my review of the EUC Bodyguard purchased from Roll.NZ. This has been for the uh, Kingsong 18XL or L, it doesn't matter. It's the, the 18 inch version. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by hitting the like button. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you have a great day.